If you're just getting started with playing chords on the guitar, or if you've been working on them for a while and find them really frustrating, I'm going to show you an exercise in this video that is a really efficient and helpful way of practicing chords. For me, it was the thing that really helped me make the most noticeable improvement in the long run with my chord playing. Even if you've played for a number of years and maybe you're starting to get into some complicated jazz chord voicings or something like that, this exercise could also be really helpful to you. So we only need one chord to show us how to do it because the idea applies to any chord that you're going to learn on the guitar. Let's start with something simple that hopefully many of us have already encountered, the G chord. Just in case you haven't, starting up here on string 6, you want your middle finger to fret the 3rd fret. On string 5, you want your index finger to fret the 2nd fret. The next three strings are all open, and then your ring finger will fret the 3rd fret of the 1st string. So you should end up with those 6 notes in that chord. Okay, now that we have G, here's the exercise. What you're going to do is you're going to take your fingers off and get them all confused about where they just were. Come back and strum the chord again. And that's it. That's really all you have to do. The key thing, the key thing not to do is this, is to play the chord and then kind of leave the imprint of the chord in your fingers, lift them off, put them back on, because then you're not really making them do the work of finding the chord every time. Whereas every time you get them confused, they have to go find their spot again. And at first, if you've never done this, it's not going to look like it does right now for me. It's probably going to be more like this. This is how it was for me when I first started. Probably way slower than that. And probably didn't sound anywhere near as clean as it does right now. Just had many, many repetitions. And I jokingly call this Netflix practice with some of my students. Not that I encourage practice when you're watching TV, but if you are watching TV and your guitar is nearby, you might as well just grab it and sit there and do this for 10 or 20 minutes. You can get all sorts of practice in with chords. And like I said, it works for everything. So if C is a tough chord for you, then this is a great way to memorize it and just help your fingers find their notes faster. Also, if you've been wondering when they're all going to get there at the same time, this is a great way to really help facilitate that in practice. As I said too, if you're learning some really unusual chords or chords that are new to you and have difficult fingerings, same thing here. You can use that exercise to really help the fingers get more familiar with new shapes and fingerings and things like that. All right, well, that's an exercise that I still use to this day. I learned it many, many years ago, and I found it to be one of the most helpful with chords that I've ever used. So I hope uh, you find it to do the same for you.